What's up, everybody? True McFly back with another pickups on the fly. Hat has changed. Doesn't match my shirt. I don't care. Brought to you by the Bowling Green State Eagles. I believe out of Bowling Green, Kentucky. Pretty sure. It's not Bowling Green, Ohio. It's Bowling Green, Kentucky, I believe. Um, also brought to you by the Flintstones on the Genesis. Hopefully that music don't get me copyright stricken. If it does, I probably don't have time. Well, I have time now to remake the video, but usually I wouldn't. So it would just disappear. And you may only have like a week to watch it and then before it gets copyright stricken. I don't think it will. It's pretty grainy up there. Anyway, this is all for one pawn shop. This is a, a Cash America pawn. I believe that's a chain. I, we have a few of those in the little town over called Fort Wayne. Um, went to another one. They didn't have anything. Well, they had a, a one game, out, two games I wanted to buy. One was the Xbox One game. Uh, they had real cheap prices on the other store. Had $5 Xbox One and PS4 games. Uh, they didn't have really much of anything, but, you know, older stuff. I was going to pick up Gears of War 4. Uh, it was behind the counter. Opened it up. The disc was gone. Um, sorry about the brightness on the TV. I turned the brightness all the way down and it's still. So, <laughs> anyway. Uh, the other one's uh, Fight Night Round 3 on the PS3. That game's getting up there in price. Uh, again, someone swiped the disc. That one was sitting out front. Was able to pick up my wife a camera there that she's been wanting. Uh, that cost a pretty penny, but uh, she lets me buy all this stuff. So, sometimes I like to make her happy. Not too often because then it becomes a habit and she's over there reading a book and probably fuming anyway these all came there's like 38 games here um maybe a few more or less a system and i'll let you know what i paid for afterwards uh, the reason i say more or less is because when i went up there i didn't check i was just grabbing stuff i didn't have i went up there and there was quite a few of them that didn't have the had the, either the wrong disc in there and or they were stolen as well. But uh, good deal on this. <laughs> um, let's just get to it. A lot of it's filler. I went, they made me a little bit of deal. Uh, they were asking $3 for all their PS3 games. Actually, all the games that were Wii and past gen. Uh, when I went up there, the guy said, well, I can do two fifty. Well, thanks for the deal. But I believe the girl threw in some of the shovelware in free. And I know there's another game she threw in free because she went in the back and checked to see if there's any more games. And she was looking for a guitar hero for me back there. But anyway, let's I digress. Picked up a copy. I heard this game was not very good. Made by Spark. Uh, the End of Mythology. It's called Legendary. I did not pay $9.99 for it. It's complete. Don't know much about the Spark. Uh, there's another developer here. Probably see it better in the. Looks like a penguin. I don't know who that is. Again, I can't see. Need my reading glasses on because I'm old. This is one of the shovel wares. Uh, I don't think she threw this one in because it was in the middle of the stack. But it was start the party. Um, <laughs> yeah, won't be playing that. But we're getting out of the barrel, people. Getting out of the barrel. A uh, copy of Split Second. This game looks interesting. Developed by Black Rock Studios and Disney. Could be promising. Haven't heard about it. If you guys played it, let me know. It says, when speed is not enough. A dynamic new TV show on a global stage. A city created for speed and destruction. Join the race bigger. Trigger the action. Crush your competition. It sounds like Death Race, but that's fine. This is one. I'll save that one. I picked up a copy of Splinter Cell, Double Agent. Again, I think the aggregate of these were probably $2 a piece. Um, after all is said, said and done. I have the gold edition of this game. Uh, but I picked up a copy of Naughty Bear. Complete. Great premise. Again, I heard this game is not good. Have yet it's on it's on shorter on my backlog. Uh, another move game. Now that I have the move, I'm trying to get the games. I'm not sure how many move games that were made. I know all the Cabela's were and um, but this one looks fun. Racket Sports. And it's complete. Um, it's got 
tennis, squash, ping pong, badminton, and beach tennis, whatever beach tennis is. But I used to be rule at badminton. No one could hit that. What's that thing called? The giblet? Hun? Hmm? What's the badminton thing called? The uh, the ball cock. No, no, it was something, it was something, uh, something weird. Yeah, we called it birdie, but there was another name for it as well. Anyway, I'll just call it the ball cock. <laughs> picked up a copy. Oh, got the last one I showed you uh, in my last video that I picked up the first one. Picked up the third one. Now I got a ball minus the collector's edition, Dead Space 3. Complete. More shovelware here, sorry, but we gotta do it. A copy of iPad, and apparently one wasn't uh, bad enough because when I added this, add, added this to my collection, um, th there another iPad showed up. So, God help us all. This was part of a set. Um, I doubt I'll be getting the set. I really don't care if I do, but it's Sing Star Plus Dance. Apparently this came with like some move controllers and uh, no some microphones and uh, a dance pad. I do not have a dance pad. I do not see myself getting a dance pad. I don't have room for a dance pad. And that was one I know she gave me for free. Uh, this is another one I know she gave me for free and this came with a set. It was never sold uh, separately. Um, so I'll probably never get the set. But it's EA Sports Active 2 Personal Trainer. Um, it came with like heart rate monitors and uh, I'll show you back here. This stuff up here. I look, I, if I find the set cheap, I'll probably get it and throw it in for uh, a little laugh. See what it's all about. But it came up with like our, uh, heart rate monitors and stuff. This one's not one you don't see every day. Made by Konami. Uh, Hellboy... The Science of Evil. One I didn't have. It says Give Evil Hell. Not worth a lot, a whole lot, but this is a complete nice shape. I may try that once. I didn't I didn't really care for the movie when it, the first one came out. Not a huge on the comic books. I heard the new Hellboy was stupid. So that's going to be, I'll probably pop that in sooner or later. Uh, but it's not high on my priority list. A second one of these is, I think, I'm not sure which one came first. If you saw a few videos ago, I got the first one. Operation Flashpoint, and this one's called Dragon Rising. Um, this one was not complete. It's got a bad case. I, there's a, She gave me a few cases. I, if I would have known this was bad, I uh, could have probably grabbed another case. She was just happy to get him out of there. All these games, there's a lot of them. I mean, I took a lot, and it barely took a dent. Um... A copy of Need for Speed Shift. Wait. Did I pick this up twice? I think. No, I just picked this up on the 360. Uh, I have the Need for Speed Shift 2. This is the first one. I did not have. I believe that's all the Need for Speed games. I think I'm done now. The last one I needed. A uh, copy of, again, one of, one of those things you... I'm not sure if this is a copy of the one you have. But, uh... Since my app was up to date, I was able to look. I spent about an hour, maybe an hour and a half there. And my wife got sick and went out to the car. Not sick of looking, but I don't... Maybe she was sick of looking. She wasn't feeling the best. But anyway, a copy of Ratchet and Clank, Tools of Destruction. I believe there's one more I still need besides the uh, set, the, the collection set. This is a nice condition. Again, uh, greatest hits. If I find a variant... Um, for cheap, I'll pick it up. Again, keeping the variants for now, but not. I'm not going to spend full uh, retail on a variant. If I get it for a buck or two, I'll grab it. Uh, Fancy Action Now I talked about this one not too long ago. This is a game I played on the Xbox 360. It was one of my my first online experiences. Made some friends that I've had I had for years on this game. It was a terrible online experience, but I thought it was the, the coolest thing. Because uh, I didn't partake in the Xbox Online. I was always behind the curve a little bit. And now I hardly ever play online. It's back to, I used to, that's all I used to do. And now I'm back to playing solo, solo play stuff and very rarely play online. But this game brings back memories. 
Uh, not a very good game. <laughs> it's it's okay, I guess. It's it it's got its own niche. But it's Soldier of Fortune Payback. This one's not complete. But for nostalgia purposes, I'm glad to have it back in my collection. This one I passed on many times because it's a free uh, PS3 game on gold uh, a while ago. Maybe about a year ago. Maybe two or three years ago. And I picked it up. I didn't really care for it. I didn't care for this emo guy. And as the reboot of Devil May Cry, I thought uh, the the rebooted Dante was a little whiny bastard. Couldn't, couldn't hardly take him. He was so emo. Uh, couldn't, couldn't really deal with it. But the game itself, the mechanics is pretty smooth. Uh, it's definitely a Devil May Cry game. Uh, just the uh, antagonist or protagonist in this case. The protagonist or antagonist, however you want to see Dante, uh, was kind of a little bitch. <laughs> I didn't really care for him. So that's that's why I put that game down and never beat it. I got a little, little far into it and I was like, I can't take this guy anymore. I uh, picked up a copy of The Club, a Sega release title. Always cheap, always passed on it. Um, it is missing the book, and this is from Edgy Video. Don't know where that's from. We don't have an Edgy Video anywhere near us or ever did. So it's probably smuggled across state lines because this game always goes for like two bucks, so it must be terrible. Anyone ever heard about this game, let me know. Uh, it's, it's hard to badmouth Sega, but some of those games uh, did not fare well. And this was one of them I haven't heard anything good about. I finally picked it up. It's Anarchy Reigns, Sega title. This one is complete. If you play this, let me know if it's any good. I do love my Sega stuff, but those two games I heard were not the best. Haven't heard much about the club, but it's always for just a few bucks, so it can't be very good. Uh, picked up a copy of MLB The Show 11. One... I don't have much of the MLB, the shows, because I, again, wasn't sure what I had, what I didn't have. There's also a copy of MLB 09 there. Someone stole the game. I don't know why. <laughs> Picked up Rock Band 2. This one's complete. I'm not even going to bother showing you. Um, Just Dance Kids 2. I think this is the only Just Dance Kids on the PS3. I know that we had a couple of them, but I think this is the only one on the PS3. Uh, a great game I, I loved. I almost beat it uh, on a 360 before I realized that PlayStation is way better than the three, uh, Xbox. And so I am looking forward to giving this one a go on the PS3, especially if it has trophy support. And it's Red Faction Guerrilla. This game was pretty fun. Even online, it wasn't bad. A little third person, almost like Tomb Raider action. Uh, WWE 12. I don't know who this guy is. I don't watch wrestling. Looks like, you know, I don't know if he's called the prison because it kind of looks like he just stepped out. So, the prison. That would be a cool wrestler. He, his finishing move would be the sodomy. So, one I don't, uh, this is the first one of the series I have because I, I, I picked up because the first, I got all three, the trilogy, off of Amazon one year. It's like around Christmas time. They're selling it for $2.69, uh, uh, digital only. So I haven't been in a rush to pick it up. But I picked up Mass Effect 2, which I heard is the best one. I started Mass Effect, the first one, and uh, I didn't get very far. I do need to get back to it. Now, this year, especially in last year, I've, I've started games, and my goal is to complete the games instead of just starting 50 different games and having 50 games that never get done. Still not perfect on that. Still not perfect, but I'm I'm doing better. My first one of this it's a Deus Ex Human Revolution. I heard this game's good. This is the manual. I heard this is the worst. Possibly, it's definitely the worst game on the PS3 and Xbox, and possibly one of the worst games of all time. It's made by Free Radical and Ubi, and also published by Ubisoft. Um, Haze. I heard this game is terrible. If you have some bad things to say about this game, or if you have any, anything positive, let me know. Uh, but again, I've multiple forums, multiple groups I'm part of on Facebook, 
uh, from YouTube friends uh, say this game is one of the most terrible pieces of garbage they've ever put in a system. That's saying a lot. Uh, I had this game on the Ultimate Action Pack. I just beat it again. One of the few, few games I beat twice. I uh, beat it once on a 360. Beat it here a couple. It was the game of the month a couple of, about six, maybe seven months ago. It's Tomb Raider. So, uh, pick this up. I have the Ultimate Action. Now I just need to get the one with the DLC. And I'll probably play it again with the DLC. Uh, Fancy Action now was talking about this game. He says he loves this game. I didn't hear anything good about this game. Um, I heard it was bad, but he loves it. So maybe we'll see. Made by T THQ and Relic. Relic made it, published by THQ. And that is Space Marine, Warhammer Space Marine. I was going to pass it because it was uh, the case of Blockbuster Rental. But look, that's coming off real easy. And I opened the case and it had a nice minty manual. And uh, uh, no, like... You know the how blockbuster used to do um so maybe that sticker just stuck on there because that came off pretty easy oh but maybe not because there's the blockbuster down there but anyway they didn't put damage the disc at all uh this one i heard was bad passed on it many times uh it <clears throat> it's like the water world of ps3 hold on Game out, came out with so much hype. It was supposed to be the next thing. <coughs> next new thing. But it wasn't. They made a TV series off this. Or they made the game off of the TV series. I think that's the way it worked. But it's called Defiance. I think it's one of those shows that were on like TBS or A&E or something. Never took off. Was terrible. Game was terrible. Um, so. But. Anyway. Have it. This game I'm surprised. Don't go for more. It actually goes for less than probably the two fifty I paid for it, or two three dollar average, when I was putting the stuff in my collection app today. But it's uh, another copy of Dead Rising Two, but this is the off the record edition. Again, I've never played a Dead Rising game. It's complete. If there's, I don't know what the difference is on this. It might just be like the, uh, you know, the Far Cry Three Blood Dragon. Kind of a, just like a little spin-off, not much of anything. A uh, game I platinum this year is the game of the month. Uh, last It was last year, and I didn't quite, I was like two months behind beating it. But uh, it's a copy of Sleeping Dogs. I have it on the Ultimate Action Pack, but here's its standalone a version. Um, it is complete. Great game, by the way, in my opinion. My wife got tired of seeing it. But I enjoyed it. Uh, I platinumed it, did everything I could. And that was with the uh, Definitive Edition, all the DLC. Uh, another one that uh, Fancy Action Now talks about a lot, um, I didn't have. It's Bulletstorm Limited Edition. Uh, this one you see all the time, the Limited Edition. The actual original one, there is. I have never seen the original one out here. The only variant I've seen is this Bulletstorm Limited Edition. I didn't take off, um, but as he actually announced, that's good. And he's not the first one I've heard that from. They, they remade it on PS4. That's how much faith they had in it, even though it did miserably on the, the last gen. Uh, this one I thought I had. In fact, I'm going to check to see if I have it real quick. I'll be right back. I do not. I thought I had it. Anyway, this is the last one I need for the, the series. Uh, my app was correct when I looked it up. Uh, the God of War collection. It's God of War 1 and 2 on the PS3. I don't know why you're not focusing. There we go. It is not complete, but glad to have it. A game I passed on many times as well because I it was a, a gold PS Plus 1 and I beat the game beautiful game story was good I beat this years ago uh, the story was great the woman in here is smoking hot but the the repetitiveness of the the fighting got to me and it, it made what what could have been a great game 
a 10 out of 10 all the way down to a 6. That's how repetitive it got for me. Um, that was Remember Me. Capcom, a lot of people say give it a 10 uh, or 9. It's missing the manual. Uh, I cannot. Uh, again, beautiful game. Story is great. Uh, they had something with these like rewind and fast forward sequences when they're trying to remember the dream or is it a dream or a memory and you could you could change the outcome they didn't they didn't only had like three or four of those maybe maybe it's only three at the most they had they sh really should have used that more it was real neat uh, but they they would rather you spam the same old enemy over and over and over do the same old moves over and over and over Boss fight was cool. Boss fights were good. It was just getting to that, progressing the story, felt just felt like a chore. Felt like you were, I don't know, just it was it was a chore. Could have been good. Um, copy of Dante's Inferno, the Divine Edition. I had this on the 360. Played it. I didn't care for it too much. I know people speak highly of it. I guess I'm not. Super big on the hack and slash. Uh, God of Wars I never even really played. Played a little bit. Uh, just not my genre. Um, the last one I was happy to find. I have the second one. I'm glad I got this one in complete and nice condition. For the two-ish dollars I spent for it. That's Castlevania Lords of Shadow. And that one is complete. I do have another stack here somewhere. It's still on the table. Hold on. These are the ones I uh, I just picked up because I knew I could I had them. Well, one of them I thought I didn't have, but I do. So I'll probably sell that with a system or something. But a copy of Fallout New Vegas, and it's got the slip cover and everything. It's complete. I have the uh, Ultimate Edition uh, with all the DLC. I didn't think I had this one, but I had this one also. So I went ahead and picked that up. That's a double. This one I picked up because the Steel Factory Sealed is a Wii game. Um, it doesn't command a lot, but for the 250 I can get 15 bucks for it. I heard it's actually a pretty good game, and that's Mushroom Men, The Spores War. Uh, still sealed. Little package tear here, but uh, yeah, it's got the folds here, so I know it was actually factory sealed. So for the two-ish dollars, I'll take that. Uh... This is one when she's back looking for, really, looking for a uh, Guitar Hero for the PS3 for me. Uh, she just brought up three copies and asked me if I wanted in any of them, and she just gave this to me. Um, it's Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It's it's not complete, but again for free or a two-ish dollar aggregate, uh, I could sell that for ten bucks easy, and. Um, it's another one that I had. This one's very nice. It's probably an upgrade for me. And in fact, I might upgrade it. And it's Silent Hill Homecoming. This one is very nice. Very nice. And the cream of the crop. I couldn't believe I found it. It was sitting there. It's not complete. But I was actually going to give it to Chad Bailey because he misplaced his. And I messaged him and said, I found a copy. And he said, I, I found my loose disc, because he, when he moved, he lost his loose disc. If you don't know Chad Bailey, he used to be on YouTube a lot. Uh, he's, he, even if you're new, you should go check his videos out from four, four or five years ago. Um, probably longer than that now. Uh, they were good and funny, and I enjoyed him, and we're good friends now. But I was just going to send this to him, and he told me that uh, he found it, so go ahead and sell it. And so that this will almost take care of what I spent for the whole lot. And that's a copy of NCAA Football 14. Again, missing the manual. I probably need to change out the case. Nope, oh, that's, that's coming right off. Um, again, missing the manual. Even missing the manual, I could get 50 bucks for it, especially this time of year. And I would say that was it. I was talking to the lady. I was getting ready to leave. She was checking it out. And I asked her, I said, you're not taking any more PS3 games anymore. And she goes, no, absolutely not. We're not. We're done with the last generation. 
So I said, well, this is probably the first and only time I was in there. And as she, I was leaving, she goes, you don't need a PS3, do you? I said, well, I have one. She goes, well, they're $29. I was like, what? And so she had three of them over there. And uh, I went ahead and grabbed one. I would have grabbed all three. But the reason I only grabbed one is because they didn't. none of them came with the original controller. I have this generic plug-in controller. Um, I still... I still may go back and get them for 29 bucks. They also had a a uh, used uh, for 39 dollars uh, a 360 uh, Star Wars 360. So I might go back and get that and the other two PS3s. We'll see. But uh, the only reason I got this one, it came with the the, the cords, uh, not the charging cord, but the HDMI and the power cord, and it's a 500 gigabyte. The other two, one was a 120 and one was a 160. And that's why I left them. If they would have had the original um, controllers with them, I would have snagged them up in a heartbeat and got all three of them. But uh, I still may go back because the next day I went back to the that one pawn shop where I got the good deal about four videos ago. And I went ahead and picked up these two. She didn't have a price. Um, uh... Because I want to sell that PS3. And I picked up a, a, a OEM controller. Uh, it's chewed up here. But it seems like the thumbsticks are working. Um, she said she couldn't test them because she had nothing to test them on. I picked up two of them. This one is in a better condition. Uh, she said, so since I can't test them, I'll just sell them to you for five bucks a piece. I said I'll take a chance on five bucks a piece, and we'll see. Um, and uh, I went ahead and asked her how much for these charging cables. She said a buck. So for eleven bucks, um, I went ahead and both those controllers work. I will probably at least go back and get one of those uh, PS3s for twenty nine bucks and pair it with that <coughs> other uh, working controller. And I'll, pr I'll probably pick up that Star Wars. 360 because I've always wanted one even though I'm not gonna keep it because I've got like four of them here uh, I might actually keep that one and get rid of another one um, But it didn't have the controller the gold controller that goes with it, but for 39 bucks I know those go for a little bit. So anyway, that's all uh, or what I spent for everything the all the ps3 games the ps3 with tax was $118 Again, I spent 11 at the other pawn shop. So basically, for 140 bucks, I got all that stuff. I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna make my money back in the PS3 and the, and in the uh, NCAA 14 plus some. That's all I'm. Real, I'm not trying to get rich. I'm not trying to make a ton of money. I'm just trying to fund my habit and collect the PS3 so it's not taking any money out, out of our debt-free journey. And with what I got with the garage sales and uh, these last few scores, I'm doing pretty well. So let's keep up the good work. Let's keep the GM strike going, man. Go a couple town-wide garage sales. There's a town-wide garage sale next week I'm going to try to hit. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Long video. Sorry. Bye.